In this video, I'm going to be giving you a route combo that does a really good job at beating man coverage out of the bunch formation. Now, um, we're in the Detroit playbook. I wanted to do some videos out of Detroit because I think that Detroit has the best combination of everything that we want to be able to do from bunch to trips to tight to bunch tight end. It has a lot of really, really valuable formations, and it kind of combines a lot of different ebooks that I've released this year. Now, if you want to get access to our bunch ebook or all of those ebooks, for example, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, in this video, like I said, we're going to be talking about a great play for man coverage, and it comes to us at a bunch trail in the gun bunch formation and uh, what we're going to do with this play is we are going to see route our solo receiver we're going to wheel our running back and then we're going to take the circle receiver and we're going to motion him over on a drag so we're going to put him on put him on a drag so this is what the play looks like now what you're going to notice is this quarter route is probably one of the best and most consistent man beaters out of bunch this year the slot receiver corner route is super effective against bunch and it consistently will beat man-to-man -man coverage now the other thing that you're going to notice is we're using a concept i talked about in a previous video which is the running back wheel in the c route if they run any kind of zone coverage here on the left side you're going to notice that if we have time we will be able to throw this c route against any zone in the game as long as we run our bunch to the um our, our running back has to be to the wide side so our bunch needs to be uh to the short side now most people at this point in the year are going to have an outside apprentice of some sort uh we know how effective outside apprentice corner routes are so that's the main reason why you know we're, we're showing you here now uh actually right there i don't know how that got played so well um but anyway what most people will do whenever they whenever you start to attack them with the C route is they will basically say, okay, in man coverage, I'm just gonna put an outside third over on the left. And again, this running back, you'll see, if we wait on this, will actually cause this route to be fairly open um, over, the, over that side of the field. Another thing you can do is you can actually put the running back, because they fixed the streak, uh, the streak now works more like it used to, so that would also be helpful. Um, but you have a high-low on the left between your corner route and your drag. So, you know, most people, when they defend Bunch, they're going to be playing man coverage, just so you know, because Bunch is so good against zone. Um, so you're probably going to see man coverage. But if for whatever reason you see zone, like a cover two, for example, you'll see here again, we're able to just attack it with the C route once it cuts to the outside. So super effective play for zone. Uh, the rest of the reads here on man coverage, we know how effective the C route is. The C route is one of the most effective man beaters or the corner route, outside apprentice corner route is one of the most effective man beaters this year. Uh, you're gonna see once he gets that separation, you're just gonna pass lead at high ball and pass lead outside. Now, if you have a receiver that has short and elite over there, even short out elite, depending on the hash that you're on, you're going to be fine. Um, even if you have a receiver that has good route running. Evans just doesn't have the best route running. So he can sometimes be a little inconsistent. Um, or we can sometimes throw the ball over his head. But as you see, he's getting the separation um, over the top of you know this play. And then, of course, we have the trail route uh, to the tight end, which is the primary reason we're actually calling this play. Um, so I'll show you here. Again, there's that high ball. Just pass that up and out. And again, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a bad pass lead from Brady. Uh, but you see he's open to the sideline. So just trust me, that's a pretty consistent man beater and has been uh, for most of the season. You know, again here, show it one more time. Boom. There we go. That's the animation we want to go for. I think I might have been just throwing it a little early. But anyways, um, the rest of the routes for man is... So now what they have to do is they have to drop some kind of help over here to the left side, right? They have to do something. Um, I don't know what. My, my play art is glitched. I thought they said they fixed this. Um, but anyways, they have to have some kind of help over the top on the corner, and they have to have some kind of help over the top on the C route. So it leaves this drag and trail route combination. This trail route's really consistent against man-to-man, -man. especially if you have short in the lead, it's gonna get a little better separation than what he's getting here. Um, you know, But they're gonna have to have some help 
on this corner route as well. So you might see like a curl flat zone uh, or something over the middle. And then let's just say that they take the user and they try to go defend this uh, trail route. Then you'll see here that this drag, um, a lot of times we'll get separation. And then like I said, you have the trail. Now you can slant him, but I would really recommend just the motion snap drag to me is the best, um, really the best method uh, for this play is to utilize this motion snap uh, drag. You can snap him while he's in motion. Sometimes that'll help him. There you see there, get a little natural pick and you see this thing comes open late. So you really are gonna force them to drop zones to stop your deeper routes, like your, your corner route and your uh, C route. And then what that's gonna do is gonna open up the middle of the field where you're gonna be able to take advantage of either the drag or the trail route, uh, whether it be against main coverage or zone coverage. So that's Bunch Trail, really good play this year. Um, because of how consistent the trail route is against man and also really how consistent the corner route is uh, against man to man as well so uh, and of course as soon as I say that I throw it in or I throw it in completion uh, but we'll show it to you one more time again this corner route is super super consistent for me against man um, you really would rather him get pressed I think that's actually helpful more helpful but as you can see nice little man beater bunch trail if you want to get my full bunch ebook or all my ebooks, join the Patreon. You get everything for ten bucks, and um, the Detroit Lions playbook is kind of becoming my personal favorite because I can blend together a lot of the ebooks that I've released. I've released a compression ebook. I've released trips. I've released bunch. We're working on a five wide. I've released tight. So you can kind of blend these schemes together. So uh, a lot of ebooks on the way for Patreon members. Make sure you're in there so you can get access to all of them. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.